you're here because you are here to solve some very, very challenging problems. And you're going to be working with some of the most phenomenal mentors that are being reached over there right now. Uh, they come from Morgan Stanley, from Google, from the most incredible startups uh, that this city has to offer. And they will be inspiring and empowering you, just as you will be inspiring and empowering them. So today, magic will happen. I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe in what Elena's doing. And then two, why actually artificial intelligence is such an exciting sector for you to be developing a passion for. My name is Gerard Correct. I am CEO of Tech Nation. What we do is we help people grow great companies. So right now, the UK is very much ahead uh, across Europe. And that's because there are lots of companies growing here because the people, the universities, the colleges of further education, they're investing heavily in the curriculum. So when you look at investment, the UK last year raised more money than France, Germany, and the rest of Europe combined in artificial intelligence. So fake news is probably going to be the biggest problem that can be tackled under this um, subject. So I'm proposing to you guys to come up with a solution to solve problems such as this. What is the problem you're solving and how? It's what we call the nine W's and one H. So it's who do you, and the key here is think your user is. But this is based on your assumptions. This is just you coming up with it without talking to anyone, right? Who do you think your users are? What do you think their problems and needs and experience is? When do you think it occurs? Where do you think it occurs? Five whys again. And how will we design to solve this issue? This is what you'll need to design uh, for the conversation. So once a million, so if we just scroll through this, so if you can have a look through, what she's doing is um, inviting the user to enter a word, and that's the first task. Uh, there's a bit of script here which channelizes the input from the user, which we, we can have a look at. Um, then uh, it loads that into something called a data map. But if you're really keen to do that, uh, I'll show you how to do it dynamically. I think, I think the, the way this has been structured, uh, this event has been structured, has been good, uh, with uh, an introduction to the base technology. Um, challenges in different different sectors that can get them to uh, different areas, examples given to them, and mentors from across industries, uh, both men and women, who can come up here and are able to show them how to build new models. Um, I think we need to do more of this. Are we building the creative potential, the entrepreneurial potential, and the social and emotional skills, the resilience needed in young people to adapt to a constantly changing world? You will probably on average have 11 different careers. How are you going to cope with the need to learn and constantly relearn to adapt to these different challenges or different career opportunities? The important point for you to take away from this talk, I hope, is going to be that whenever we develop any code, we need to think about how this code is going to affect us, the humans. So I'm going to talk to you a bit about the importance of considering ethics when creating some kind of new code, come up with a new idea. And the reason for this is because a lot of bad can come from it if it's put in people's hands which don't really mind about like social change or are actually caring about the problem that they want to solve. So we want young creators to really consider this. To do this, you always have to think about, oh, so the data that we're putting in, is there bias in it? What's the bias towards? And data bias is a big cause for later on like discrimination. So one of the questions that people may ask themselves is why is AI such a hot topic and why is it so hard to address and it's important that the, the areas are bridged. You have people in industry trying to also understand what are the standards that need to be put in place and that's why these sort of events are so useful because you have people from all spectrums interacting with each other. So um, Peter is um, my co-founder of um, Teams in AI and and Sami is the organizer of the latest uh, generation that hack and he is our very first Teams and AI ambassador. So hello, Sabine Nazanto. I work at IBM. I lead uh, the digital strategy team at IBM uh, and I work on a number of, uh, in different fields in AI and blockchain. I'm Florian, many here will know me as a mentor long-term mentor of ACO and Team AI. Um, in my normal day job, I'm a site reliability engineer at Google. So many incredible things that we've done um, you know, on the NHS. So trust me, 
It was not easy at all. We literally had the judges argue. We had to choose uh, the teams and um, every single team has got something. So we're going to start with the team that's going to go um, get IPsoft mentoring. That's the team that has made use of Amelia chatbot and they've done a fantastic job. Habitat AI uh, will be receiving mentoring from IPsoft. So well done. <laughs> There are two teams that will go to DNA VR Arcade to play with their VR uh, games and system, and that is Brexit Bot. <laughs> there is another com uh, company that's offered um, work experience, and it's a VR company, so that's work experience with a VR company. So apart from AI skills, you're also going to develop a VR and hopefully play with Unity um, and, and other software, and that team is ideal. Work experience for teenagers has been offered to Glassbox. And the team that will go to Quantum Black is you, boss. I'd say the hackathon uh, kind of opened my eyes. So it was something new that you've learned? Uh, I'd say I didn't really know too much about how AI actually works. Like, it's quite a buzzword, I'd say, now. I know now practically how I'd implement AI in my programming and stuff, and what it actually means to using it in like, the program. What did you do over the last few days? So I picked the Youth of Politics Challenge with my team and we worked to try and find a solution to get youth into politics and more informed and involved. What was your favourite part of the last two days? I think today, just working with my team. Hi Watson. Hello. What have you been doing over the last what, two days? What have I been doing? I've been working with a team to create artificial intelligence kind of program that we will be selling in front of the NHS and private companies. Did you enjoy working with your team? I have, yes. It was great to see a new diverse team. Uh, I've always found it interesting because we worked together and we pitched it in front of businesses. Our friends in MED, MED, AIM, that's what our <laughs> initial goal was. He always believed in us. He still does. I love him for that. My name is uh, Danny Bluestone. I'm the CEO and founder of CyberDuck. I think the hackathon's been incredible. I really enjoyed judging. Yeah. Lots of different types of hacks from government to healthcare to, to fake news and mental health. So it was a really hard decision to rank the top teams. But I think each team uh, demonstrated a lot of innovation. I think you've all been incredible. You've all won uh, incredible awards. And I think that's uh, brilliant. So I hope to see you all at our next time. We will announce it very soon. Thank you, everyone. Uh, have a lovely week and <laughs> <laughs>